Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mark Crypto Boy in Oz. It's Sunday, the 25th of July, and I thought I'd get a bit of UV on the old skin. So, I mean, in all honesty, I've always got UV on my skin because I'm always, I walk outside, but when I do my YouTube videos, probably 95% of them are in complete darkness in the old studio. So I thought I'd um, just walk in the dog, it's a beautiful day. There's a... There's a Aussie Rules football kid, there's a kids Aussie Rules football game going on. Um, and it's middle of winter. And... T-shirt weather. It's perfect climate. Perfect! Um, anyway, the video, the quick video today, or this morning, or whatever time it is. Half eleven, yeah, it's still morning. Just wanted to pose the question, what are your top three altcoins um, outside outside Ethereum? And not necessarily moonbags, like I don't necessarily mean hidden gems that are gonna 1000 X, hopefully, but any any alts, like what are your top three alts? Um, I've I've got I think my top up my top alt is probably gonna be Polkadot. Uh, Cardano and XRP. That's my top three. Now I'll add a little um, caveat to that and just say I've got a moon bag. So if you want to do your top three alts and your moon bag, which is your low cap gem, your hidden gem, and I think you guys know what it is. Um, if you don't know what it is, you've not been watching my videos. So, it is Giro Wallet. Giro Wallet is my 1000x bag. Um, and I think that's going to be probably four, four, two, two, well, one, one to two cycles away. But yeah, just thought I'd get that in there. But yeah, I think, I think the top alts with Polkadot, XRP, and Cardano, and I'll give you, I'll give you my reasoning. So, Polkadot. You look at Kasama, uh, and you look at um, all the parachains that are going on, and all the staking that has to go on um, on all these individual projects to be listed as a parachain on Kasama. Well, going off what's been happening, the amount of parachains what are the, what are going to happen, it's going to get to the point where pretty much all the Kasama are going to be staked, and. If you think you've missed out on the Kasama, on the Kasama train, um, the price is pretty low at the minute. It's like gone from all time that all time high to 600 back down to like one. I think it went down to like 145 or something. But still, if you've if you've missed out where you weren't picking it up for like 10, 15 dollars or so, Polkadot is your next your next alternative to that. So I think Polkadot's going to do big things going forward. I think. By the next bull cycle, we're easily going to be around $150 mark. So, getting now you're going to 10x, and I think in like two cycles away, you're probably looking between four and five hundred dollars. Um, then I've got Cardano, which to me is a no-brainer. Um, it's it's the only blockchain that's been around for ages that, has, that isn't doing anything purely because Charles Hoskinson has peer reviewed every single every single step in the Cardano uh, journey so everything is working the best it can be because any criticism that's come up has been addressed and, and modified so once, once the blockchain and the smart contracts come live in I think possibly end of next month, beginning of September, the ecosystem's going to take off in a massive way and I think it's really going to really um, catapult the price into the stratosphere without sounding too SpaceX. And then, then you've got XRP. And XRP, if you didn't know, there's, a, there's basically a banking change happening were the old way of sending money, which is kind of archaic, 
he's going to be stopping and there's a new way of, a new way of sending money um, which is going to be the likes of XRP XLM uh, and there's a, and there's I think there's three or four other coins that are like in the same kind of realm and XRP has got a lot of um, ties with big banks and I think once the lawsuit ends with the SEC and it's looking like it's going to be in XRP's favour which might end up with like a little settlement being paid by XRP which in the grand scheme of things is going to be pittance I think XRP is going to good, could go to the moon like you, you literally could get um, 100x without without actually too much trouble I think I reckon I reckon by the next cycle you're going to see XRP at $60 um, that's just my opinion so they're my five they're my three along with my moon bag I suppose XRP could be a moon bag as well really if you look at it like that but what's yours interested to interested to find out um, drop it in the comments if you will and as I always say invest well like really really invest well especially at the minute I mean it's looking positive now because um, it's looking pretty bullish but still be cautious the volume isn't there yet um, we still could go down so invest well and remember there's a crypto boy in all, all of you even you girls out there